I upholstered four chairs and I also chalk painted them. You want to see how I did it? Stick around. This is the fabric that I'm going to use to um, recover my dining room chairs. I bought this stuff. Uh, there was a store called The Rag Shop that was a fabric shop that was going out of business. So I bought a ton of fabric from them. And this is all in the same, all in the same family. Um, it was called, oh, excuse me. It's called Sahara Beige. Yeah, here it is. Sahara, Sahara Natural. And... I bought this years ago, um, several different patterns, um, but all from the same family because the store was going out of business. So they're all different um, types of fabric. But anyway, I'm going to use some of this fabric for my four dining room chairs. So I'll decide what I'm going to use and I'll come back. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove the pillow cushions or the seat, the seat cushions. Uh, by the way, this dining room set we picked up off, Craig's, off Craigslist uh, several years ago. I like the set, but I always knew I would, wanted to paint it. I wasn't really crazy about the color. Um, I don't mind the traditional style of the, of the dining room table and chairs. I just didn't really care for the dark color. So I knew at some point in time that we probably uh, paint the chairs and uh, probably the table as well. So the first thing was remove the cushions and um, start to change out, uh, replace the uh, chair covers. So first um, we'll have to unscrew them. They came with four screws in each chair to remove the seat cushions. So we remove those and then I'll um, change, the, um, change the fabric. After changing the fabric, we'll start to paint. So what I did in starting out was to put one staple here and one staple opposite it, but pulling it really, really taut and doing the same thing on the opposite side of the cover. So it should be really nice and tight. So now I'll go around the perimeter of the um, cover and finish that up. Three down, no, one down, three to go. Okay, so we'll be using Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I've used this on several other projects and I'll link them in the iCards. I like the finish of the um, Rust-Oleum uh, white linen. 
Uh, I did pick up some, I think it was ivory colored chalk paint from Walmart that I want to try. I thought about mixing it in with this white, but I may try that on another project. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll be um, using the Rust-Oleum linen white for these chairs. And um, hubby's going to help me out and do at least one coat for me. So we'll see how long this takes me to do um, to do this. I'm not sure how many coats it's going to take to cover this dark finish. And I'll finish up uh, probably with some polyurethane or polyacrylic on top just to preserve it. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay guys, we finished this project. I'm really happy with the way the chairs turned out. I love the new fabric that I chose for the chair covers and the paint on the chairs looks so nice. But I have to say I did four coats of paint. I really wasn't crazy about the polyacrylic. It kind of yellowed everything. So I had to go back over it with um, another coat of paint. So I, I do like the final project, but um, it was a labor of love. But I like how bright and clean the chairs look now. I'm debating about painting the table. I may just, just do the legs, I'm not really sure. But I love how this brightens up the room. And um, so I'll share my next project with you, which will probably be the bookshelves that we picked up from Craigslist. So thanks for riding with me, guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next production. Bye now.